Welcome back, viewer. This is Chungu Chajami. Today we are talking about demonstration. What is your take on demonstration? Are you for it or against it? Are you there for a peaceful marching and ways of changing the government to change? Or are you there rioting and being rowdy? Send in your question, your comments across all our social media networks. That's GBS TV Africa. Our SMS line is 21144. So before we went on a break, I had asked a question. Mm -hmm. After talking to you people from the family, because you said charity begins at home, mm -hmm. the people you mentor, mm -hmm. how do you talk to them? How do you relate to them? How do you change their mindsets? Mm -hmm. From them not seeing the negativity that is, or the bad energy that is going throughout the country, but rather seeing it in a different trajectory of it's a tough time. Even you as a boss, you're mm -hmm. facing it. You're yeah. not having it soft, yeah. better than they are. But yeah. you're all in a different angle, in a different level, but facing it the same way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll just try to give an example on a family setup. They usually say when kids need something, they go to the dad. Or they go to the mom, then the mom go to the dad. The biggest question is, where does the dad go? To God. <laughs> Thank you. No. Wow. <laughs> if I come to us as the bosses when it comes to the people we employ, sure. the best thing we do is, number one, by maybe giving them incentives to motivate them to work better because let us not lie to each other. The only place where they do such kind of, uh, 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 you know, duty whereby people don't get paid is in church because they'll be blessed. In fact, even it's not for free because God will bless them. So, bottom we line... To disagree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Let's continue. I tend to disagree. But just, uh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'll just say, these people, when they work on giving services for us to pay them, we make sure that the service they give, they generate enough for the company to sustain itself and for them to earn. Now, look at here, or look at it this way. Whatever the company has, we don't have that extra to motivate them. Apart from just motivating them, you know, through maybe uh, bringing those people who can motivate them mentally because it's not about work all the time. But now when it comes to a point whereby they get to see of dismissed two of their colleagues what comes into their mind tomorrow other two will go because the company is not sustainable enough to take care of them mm -hmm. so for me i'll still go back to the government despite us as one uh, like citizens you know wanting to play our role we should have that fair ground for such things to happen and this thing for sure is really like a uh, brought by these people we call our leaders, our politicians, okay? If change can start from there, whereby they stop this impunity, when we put them on those uh, uh, different arms of government, like maybe the parliament, whereby the member of parliament <coughs> go there to represent us, let them do so. Because today the Wananchis are on the streets because they are someone who's sleeping on their job. So the, the, these citizens try to get another way to air their anger out through this demonstration. And nowadays, I really pity this country because when you see this name Mandamano, it's now changing not only to, what did you say? The English name of it is? Demonstration. Demonstration. Now it's losing meaning to, it's now being categorized as rioting. As rioting, thuggery. Yes, because it happens now when we go to the streets to like, picket or like demonstrate constitutionally, you know, these people we call our leaders who slept or who slept on their job, they end up turning back on us to use these people who are called the police who are there to guard us as citizens, to guard our properties. They are like using them to turn against us. I bring all this again under that umbrella of impunity. So as, as a country, when we are being asked as the business community or the employees that we have for us to try work better to change our country, also we should focus on making sure that the government is giving us that fair ground to exercise what we are supposed to exercise as a country. Wow. 
you let me come uh, to you for, uh, for comment on that yes. let, let me add this um like we had discussed before from the organization that you come from you have things to do with empowering the youth and now that it's a lot of a lot of the youth are the ones who are out there we are having a lot of inlets having feeding in the wrong energy but we don't have the outlet of venting out the negative energy as well but this it's like bringing an opportunity to vent out but now again we are not having them educated on that how to vent to venture their anger how to venture their frustration because if i'm frustrated because i'm not earning because things are not going in the right way because um abcd a lot of things are frustrating as as a youth as a nation how do you help them now from a leader's perspective to show them that hey this is not the way to go you can still show your frustration you can still vent out whatever it is that you have within you but in a positive way rather than going out and being so um, violent and uh, because those are the people also being arrested no one is going to take them out of jail those are the same people who are go who are being battered no one is going to pay their medical bills it's up to the society again coming back to you because if it is my son who has been battered and they don't have the resources i'll come to you as a church leader so pastor are you going to do this and this and this how do you go about it in matters to do with youth uh our country kenya is a youthful country mm -hmm. we right now in the population in terms of population data kenya 70 percent they are youth mm -hmm. we see that uh, after the moi kibaki's regime we did not have an active ministry of youth affairs but right now in this government in this administration we have the ministry of youth affairs when we talk about uh, youth affairs as you mentioned uh, church has a very church has a very key role to play because when you talk about youth, you're talking about that pianist in church. You're talking about that border border in the, on, the, on the street. You're talking about uh, the university students. This nation is youthful. Yes. What are we doing for the youth? One thing that uh, which probably we will also be able to think and change in terms of uh, when we categorize, we are now talking about youth and then we're going to go to public servants civil servants, when you talk about the civil service, our civil, civil service. But youth, the energy, the power, everything that they have, innovation, mm -hmm. character, what do they need? Mm -hmm. They need to be taught in terms of mm -hmm. mind. Mm -hmm. The youth in Kenya can do many things. Mm -hmm. And we can see, you can see right now globally M-Pesa is being used. Mm -hmm. Who came up with M-Pesa? It's a youth. The the days of your school. From just uh, from just the school, mm -hmm. during the COVID nineteen, Kenyatta University, those university students who made uh, the PP, PPEs, mm -hmm. these are youth. Mm -hmm. Where is their mindset? Mm -hmm. How did they come up with all these kind of things? Mm -hmm. Education mm -hmm. is important. Mm -hmm. Our our education system now we are transitioning mm -hmm. from eight four four. Now we are transitioning to learner-centered education. Initially it was teacher-centered. Now it is learner-centered education, CBC. It's pretty expensive. We were not prepared. We didn't know what is it that we are coming into. But I think we should continuously be able to amend or amend our education system to a character education. Competency-based curriculum. But we should be able to bring Character and competency-based curriculum. We can probably say CCBC. Why? Who is teaching that police officer in Kiganjo that when you get on the road and somebody has broken traffic rules, you can receive a bribe? We don't have such institution. Mm -hmm. Who is teaching that young man in the street that you can uh, do this and do that to make your way? It is about our character. It's about our mindset. And I'm sorry to say, but we should be able to first teach this character education 
to all the civil servants, teach the character education to the our security agents, mm -hmm. teach this character education to the church. Mm -hmm. Because now, when you see even the things that are happening in Kenya in terms of church and religion, mm -hmm. people, they need to learn character. He mentioned and said it's only in the church where you, you work for free. But I don't think it's like that. Mm -hmm. Nobody is now working for free. Nobody is even praying now for free because the church to them has now become a business. Mm -hmm. But church is a place where we need to manufacture competent leaders. I want to ask, those people who are calling for the, for, who called for demonstration, for picketing, mm -hmm. who is their pastor? Those people who are throwing stones, who are stealing, who is their pastor? Those police officers who are firing gun, uh, bullets, and that young man in Madare who was shot on the knee, who is his pastor? But you're having people, who, and also pastors, who are saying they are for it, and... Uh... Uh, um, don't know which perspective that it, it is that they are taking it when they say it's true, everything has hiked and they are saying even me, given the chance I'll just march to the street everything is it has just hiked. marching everything peacefully has or is it marching and also showing us as a leader that we can also throw stone better. Let me ask you a question mm -hmm. everything has hiked isn't it? Mm -hmm. Economically financially Everything is high. Mm -hmm. Prayers also have hiked. Uh, what is the role and what is the work of a pastor? Brothers and sisters, they bring their problems to the pastor to do what? To, be to feel relieved. To give counseling. Mm -hmm. You give counseling. You give spiritual support. Mm -hmm. You also do counseling and you also pray for them. Mm -hmm. And God should be able to answer. So prayers have also hiked. That pastors, they want to go on the street. Mm, maybe, to riot against who? Maybe to interject on your point. Okay, you know when you speak of pastor, who's a pastor? Let's just, let's start there first. Mm -hmm. Who's a pastor? Maybe the church leader. Is a when we talk about a pastor, it's good for people first to understand that name pastor. First who's of all, pastor? before we even understand the, the first, first of all, before we understand the name pastor, mm -hmm. what is the church? Mm -hmm. What is the church? Mm -hmm. What is the biblical definition of a church? Mm -hmm. And then from that point, we will know the biblical definition of a pastor. The church, Paul is writing the letter to, the, to, the, to Corinthians. To the church of Corinth, called to be saints. So which means the people who congregate themselves mm -hmm. together, who those people are believers of Jesus Christ, not only believers per se, those people who believe on the work of Jesus Christ on the cross. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says, he who denies the work of Jesus Christ on the cross is an antichrist. Mm -hmm. So these people who are gathering together, the foundation of their spiritual life, the, the foundation of their faith is the work of the cross. The birth, the crucifixion, and the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. What does it bring? What impact does it give to me? In the book of Philippians, the Bible says, let this mind be in you, that which was in Christ Jesus. The what was the mind of Christ? Then as you gather yourself as believers, now call the church, are you being governed by the mind of Christ or the mind of an individual? Somebody somewhere in the name of so-called pastor, not being led by the Holy Spirit. Or you're being governed by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just touch based on that aspect is trying to speak of. You know, we have the spiritual aspect of us, and uh, we have that emotional aspect of us. Pastors, at the end of the day, despite them being our spiritual leaders, mm -hmm. they're also human beings. Sure. And at some point, they might lack dignity in this so-called spiritual guidance. Spiritual guidance. So they end up taking sides in these political, you know, uh, parties to a point whereby it's they because divide the congregants. Yeah, they want to impress a leader because maybe he came and gave them a bunch of cash because they wanted to build a, to do a certain building. Mm -hmm. But it's not supposed to be like that, as our pastor said over here, you mm -hmm. know. So I think at the end of the day, when it comes to that aspect of people saying or. Oh, 
someone who's being called a pastor. For me, my pastor used to crack a joke and say that, call me a pastor when I'm at the pulpit. When, <laughs> when I'm out here, call me Baba Nani. Because at the end of the day, I might also be attacked by that emotional being and end up saying something which will be like, no, who's the pastor way to? You get what it? you do, what you speak in the pulpit mm -hmm. should reflect what you do in the society. Mm -hmm. I cannot say to the Eunice, I'm a pastor, praise mm -hmm. the Lord, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm the one who is telling you, is you go and, go and uh, throw stones. It's your constitutional right. Mm -hmm. But I cannot be the one telling you to go and throw stones, to go and talk about the economic uh, times. Mm -hmm. What is the church doing in advising the mm -hmm. government? Absolutely. As we wind up, maybe as parents, mm -hmm. we have seen this is affecting our children going to school. Yeah. The other day we had a public notice of the government saying that children should just stay at home for their own safety. We are also having the fear of unknown. Also as a parent, I can't allow my kid to go far away simply because we've had cases of the child who was suffocated by the tear gas canisters at home and the father was coming out asking, hey, why are you doing or throwing this? And you're arrested. Yes. And now, if he was alone only with the kid at home, the kid fainted, no one is taking care of him, we are yet to know if the kid survived or not survived because this is a total new thing to the kid. And also, the kid who was shot, mm -hmm have nothing to do with this demonstration this man to man nothing very very naive innocent innocent his or her life has been changed drastically and forever because that's a bullet wound even mind if you even those parents who mm -hmm. have the right to pick it but they get short who will feed the families exactly so my question now is uh, as as a society and also as parents mm -hmm. How now are we supposed to, can't we go there as if, if at all we are tired with all this, mm -hmm. other than going and demonstrating? Mm -hmm. can't, we, can't we just uh, join in the Tumechoka thing? It's online, just mm -hmm. say Nimechoka, because simply it's, that is what we are saying, we are tired. What will the government do after we do that? The next That's word the of uh, um, I'm tired, <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because that's, that's, that's the kind of but, animal our government is. But, sure. but from where I see it, mm -hmm. uh, we have failed. We have fallen mm -hmm. from somewhere. From where I see it, mm -hmm. we are giving... Civic education is very important. To what extent can I demonstrate? To what extent can Who is I giving do that? us this civic education? There's no one who is giving this civic education. That's why we are here. Can we put it to you as a church leader, as a church, as a community? I think be the first people in the room light to just provide such a kind of civic education to ensure that, like you are asking, those who are throwing stones, who are their pastors? Yes. Can you start it from where you are? Show them this is not the right way. You, you. We, 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 we find uh, solutions to our problems, not, not, not necessarily as an individual, not necessarily as a group, but we should be able to find solutions to our problem as a nation. Wow. My director is telling me that we are out of time. So in but I think next time time we should have this conversation more and more <laughs> uh -huh. because there are many things that we are missing out. Sure. Yes. We'll sure invite you for the next one. <laughs> Please join us in. So kindly starting with you, your mm. parting shots. Uh, my parting shot is uh, this. We are faced with an, uh, we have an elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is that uh, we are complaining. We are not per se complaining, we are complaining. The nation is complaining about economic difficulties. And uh, the question is, we are difficult economically, but then we are not difficult in terms of our character, in terms of our mindset. As you fight for your economic development, for your economic change, you fight about the taxes, 
which kind of character are you going to display that people will look at you and say, I want to be like him? Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, for me, my parting shot will be so simple. And I won't mention quotes or what, but I will just say to our government, Thank you so much for trying to set up goals which you think will transform this country. Mind you, these are long-term goals. Listen to the people. Let everyone have a seat on that table. Let's have a conversation. Because they usually say, a nation that complains, complains is a nation that can fail. But a nation that gives each other a platform to say something, at the end of the day, we will create a solution to what's going on within our country. Thank you so much for coming in and honoring our visit to talk on this issue that literally we've just touched on it. But I'll sure invite you again so that we might have more deep conversation on the same. Thank you, viewer, for staying tuned out to this time. Thank you for sending in your questions, your comments across all our social media networks. Let's continue this conversation online at GBS TV Africa. Our SMS line is 21144. Till next time, have a nice time. Goodbye.